Hello and welcome to the most exciting video I have ever filmed. I love cooking and I love Disney. And I thought, hmm, is there any way to combine the two? And so I found isn't this amazing? So this arrived a few days ago. The recipes are so cute looking, so delicious looking, just so fun. So I thought it'd be a really cute and fun video idea to try to make a three course meal out of this cookbook. Before I begin though, if I want to cook like a Disney princess, I also want to look like one. So I got a few goodies. One second, this is literally six year old soap dream come true. I'm doing this for you, little soap out there somewhere in another alternate reality watching me. See if I can do this without messing up my hair. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. There's also some cute little clip-on earrings. I haven't put these on since I was like five. Oh, 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 whoa. These are actually really cute. Like, cuter than some earrings I have. This is adorable. Last and final touch. Let the cooking commence. You know, I actually feel super cute right now, like unironically. I think this is quite a look. All right, let's begin. This is really exciting. I am very excited. Are you as excited as I am? Cause you would be really, really excited then. Oh. <laughs> There's just the table of contents. Um, cute little foods. So I'm gonna read the before you begin because you know, I wanna read how to do it. You know, what if I mess up? What if I do something wrong? Cooking is a lot of fun. But before you get started, there are some important things to remember. Always, always, wow, that's a big emphasis. Ask a parent for permission. Even young princesses need to check with the queen or king before they use the palace kitchen. Okay. Permission to use the palace kitchen, please. Can I use Can I use the kitchen, the palace kitchen? Do you give me permission? What's that? The kitchen. Am I? Can I cook? Are you calling? You know who you're calling, right? <laughs> Mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's for a video. Yeah, she probably thinks I need help, but I don't. I'm okay. For the appetizer, I picked Southern Spoon Bread. It's Tiana's recipe. It looks really good. So I'm currently heating two cups of milk and one cup of water in a large pot. And once I do that, I'm gonna add the butter, the salt, and then the cornmeal. My spoon bread is ready to go into the oven. For the main course, I picked the Bayou Meatloaf. It serves six to eight, but knowing Harris and I, it probably serves two or three at most. I'm gonna be making this because it looks really good, and honestly, Tiana has the best recipes on this book because Southern food is awesome. Okay, so I have all my ingredients right here, and I'm just gonna follow this recipe, and let's see where it takes me. Hopefully this, because this looks amazing. That's me. All right, so Prince Harrison is here. He's gonna help me make this Milo. First step, we're going to combine the ground beef and pork in a large mixing bowl. We have the ground pork and the ground beef. Yay. So I'm just gonna combine this together, mix it, Okay, fast forward, this is kind of boring. Now I'm just gonna put the spices in here. There we go. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the meat. I forgot to combine it beforehand. Oh my God, I'm such a freaking idiot. All right, whatever. Now combine. So now that the meat is all mixed, I'm gonna start adding the other ingredients. All right, so my 
I combined all the ingredients. Now I'm just gonna mix it all together with a wooden spoon so it's all combined. It's really hard to do that and carry this. This is honestly such a fun video to film. Okay, so I'm gonna go and really uh, violently beat up this meat. I'll be right back. Okay, now that this is combined pretty well, it took some time and effort because it's like really stubborn, I'm just going to put this in here. It looks all good and packed in there. I'm just gonna put it in the oven for 50 minutes. So the meatloaf is almost ready. I have half a cup of ketchup mixed with a tablespoon of honey. And I'm just gonna add it on top of that and bake it for another 10 minutes. Yep. Ta-da! For dessert, we're gonna have Samson's Care Cookies. I don't know why, but Aurora just looks so cute and these just look really cute. I don't know if they're gonna taste good because carrot and cookies just doesn't sound that appetizing, but we will see. So I have all the ingredients right here. We have apples that have been sitting out for a long time, shredded carrots, walnuts, cranberries, baking powder, nutmeg, cinnamon, oats, flour, baking powder, and brown sugar. So let's begin. The recipe says, in a small bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. We need a cup of flour. A teaspoon of baking powder. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. Brown sugar. Melted butter. That looks really good. Damn, I'm like a southern chef now. You're pretty much. Oh! Pretty much are. <laughs> Yeet! Shredded carrots, apples, walnuts, and cranberries. This is the situation right now. I'm just gonna put this mixture into the cookie sheet and bake it. Alright, so I put some of the cookies and now. I'm gonna bake them. So, it is a huge mess here, but the cornbread is ready and it looks absolutely adorable. I'm like sweating. Cooking is really hard, especially when you have to make three courses by yourself. It's it's very stressful. There's a scene where Tiana is pouring honey into beignets and I always thought that scene just looks so appetizing. She was like pouring it in, so I'm gonna try that. Come on. but it does look delicious. Damn, look at the honey on that. It looks so good. Definitely princess proved. Now it's time to make drinks. So we're gonna make the sea foam smoothie. A banana, frozen yogurt, and lime juice. which I'm not like that big of a fan of banana flavor. I like it. But it is really refreshing and I feel like Ariel would definitely eat that. The moment of truth, the meatloaf. I can see the chunks of onion that Harrison didn't mince very well. I have hyped in this <laughs> meatloaf, it's gonna be good. Before we, 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 we have to bless our food. Okay. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. <laughs> he looks so disturbed. <laughs> Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Go meatloaf. Mmm. That is good. I'm gonna get a ton of this. Tiana makes a mean meatloaf. I think Tiana might be my new favorite Disney princess. Tiana is like one of the bestest. She's princess, honestly my sure. favorite. 
so far. <laughs> He's never seen Princess and, the, and, Princess and the Frog, and I'm showing it to him for the first time, and he like really loves it. I think your mom definitely makes a better meatloaf though. Her recipe is way better, but this is really good. I rate it like a eight out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. It's like a nice, good, simple meatloaf. So, eight out of ten. Seven and a half, eight out of ten. Now we're gonna try that. Ooh, look at cake. Yay. That looks pretty awesome. That looks really good, actually. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Is it good? That's really good. Mmm. It's honestly bomb. It tastes like a better version of cornbread. Yeah, it's like better than cornbread. Because cornbread, I feel like it's too dry. This is like moist, like really moist and good. If cornbread was like a nice warm cake. Yeah, really good. Goes really well with meatloaf. Perfect combo. Oh man. Mm. It gets better as you eat it. <laughs> so now we're gonna try the cookie. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend we did try it already, but we're gonna try it again for real this time because I didn't really try it. So this is what they look like. I think they look very pretty and they look kind of like cottage core. You guys know the aesthetic cottage core? It's cottage core. It's like this aesthetic where like cute baked goods, um, you know, like picnics, picnic baskets, sounds like a genre. Dresses. Sounds like a genre of metal. High five. High five. Bippity boppity boo. I mean, bippity boop. Wait, one, two. Bippity boppity boo. There's it's like, kill me now. <laughs> These are actually so good. I actually really like this. They're not too sweet. They're like chewy. And oatmeal flavored, nutmeg, cinnamon. I don't really taste the carrot, do you? No. All of, all of this? I think this is the best one. What do you think? <laughs> It's <laughs> really good. No. I give this like a 9 out of 10. I like this the most. You like that? Yeah. I give that like a 9 out of 10 too. That, like a 7.5. This, a 9 out of 10. And this, because I don't really like banana and mostly all you taste is banana, I give it like a 6 out of 10. But it is really refreshing. So, thank you guys for watching. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. <laughs>